before taxi check this back with you again. So, avionics on. Once you do that, you want to check your amps and volts indication. So you want to go full page on the. So you press here. It's your engine page on your G or uh, G1000, and you get a full indication of the engines. Um, you want to check your amps and volts. You want to check your fire detector. So you got to press this button. You'll hear an audible tone, beep beep, and you'll get a indication here. Fire detector on your G1000. Next, autopilot master switch. So you got to press your autopilot master switch. Is is to on. So you press that. Uh, then you gotta go fuel selectors cross speed. So this is a check to make sure your fuel system is properly working. So you swap. So currently on left, you will go to right, and, and then you go from right to left. So basically, you're cross feeding your fuel. Okay. So then next, you go fuel pressure. Because you've done that, you want to check your fuel pressure. So you want to make sure that your fuel pressure is stable at four psi approximately. Then you go XPDR code and flight plan ID. So you want to make sure, so you've got a function here in the G1000. You want to set XPDR and you go standby and then you set the code which ATC would have given you. Or you set 7000 um, for VFR flight. But ultimately you want to make sure that you're on, on ground or standby because you don't want to be transmitting um, altitude or, or other information while you're um, Taxi on the ground because it gives it gives ATC a false indication. Next is here you got a flight you got to plan your flight plan so you got to program your MFD. Yeah, we showed that in the and the separate videos on that. Program your comms so it's simple here and here. And then you want to set your your Q and H so um, you can select it in this button uh, here so the outer the big button so you can see it's barrel and then. Down here as well, you got your standby system, so you can just twist this to set. So you want to make sure set and compare. So you want to make sure that they're pretty much within the same altimeter uh, or at indicated altitude. Um, so then your next is your alt and, alt and heading bug. So you would set your alt and heading bug to be your runway heading and your first cleared altitude. They're right here. You can. See, so it's here and here, and heading is here. It's also here, but it's always recommended to use the right hand on the right uh, side. Yeah, so you fly with your left, and then you have right hand for communication work or etc. So don't don't cross your hands using the left hand. Um, so then, on completion of that, you want to check. The next thing will be check your enunciators. So you should always acknowledge enunciations. So you select this button here and it will give you any um, indications. So for example, pitot heat is not working, all the pilots is off, or any other innumerable um, enunciations you can get. And you should always acknowledge your enunciations because if you don't, you could potentially get another enunciation that you, you're, you're going to ignore and then you can get yourself into trouble. So before taxi checklist is complete, once you check your oil pressure, so you want to get an oil pressure which is out of the amber range before you increase the engine. 1200 rpm so you don't want, you don't want to damage the um rotax 912s so then you go before taxi check is complete okay completed so next is your taxi checklist okay we'll do it together yeah so you go taxi clearance you got obviously ask atc uh, it's not something you want to rush so once you get a taxi clearance make sure you complete all the items and, and don't try and feel like you got a taxi immediately so you go taxi clearance you got it taxi off block time note you got to write down your time then you, using the clock here, don't use your wristwatch, use the, the clock so you're maintaining zero time and standing time. Then you go taxi light, so you go taxi light on. Uh, once the aircraft starts moving, you gotta uh, check your brakes, so depress your brakes, make sure your brakes are working. Then ask your co-pilot or instructor, so you would ask them to check their brakes. So they will say, I have brakes, and they check their brakes, and then they'll pass the brakes back to you. Um, so as your standard, you want to check your flight instruments while taxiing. So as you're moving then, uh, if you go left, you want to see that your heading is decreasing and your ball goes in the opposite direction. Um, so then you go taxi check is complete. Taxi check is completed and uh, we'll do the run up and the before takeoff checklist in the next video. So stay tuned.